big trades in, during the season in Major League Baseball are part of the culture. They happen every year. You know, it's one of the buzzy things that happens during the summer of Major League Baseball. It actually injects life into the sport. It is the trade deadline every year. So you grow accustomed to seeing huge deals happen every year in the weeks leading up to and at the trade deadline. Sometimes you get those big deals in the NBA around the trade deadline time during the season, but not nearly with the same frequency or impact or importance um, as you would see in Major League Baseball. It's very, very rare to see one done in the National Football League. And what's even more surprising is today's culture is to be totally surprised and almost completely blindsided by a trade happening. You know, that's what happened with the news yesterday coming out that the Seattle Seahawks had traded Percy Harvin to the New York Jets for a future conditional mid-round draft choice. Nobody saw this coming. And at least if anybody saw this coming, they most certainly didn't talk about it. They didn't report it. You know, they didn't write about it. This was that rare surprise in today's social media world, and it seems like no secrets are safe and everything always gets out there in the way of rumors, what have you. This was that rare, total, and complete surprise, and you could tell based off the reaction of social media and different websites that it was a complete and total surprise, almost refreshing in that way. And, you know, I'm sitting there and I'm saying to myself, wow, this is that rare kind of big, stunning deal to happen in the NFL. You know, usually you don't in the NFL, you don't want to sit there and trade for somebody like this at this point in time in the season. They've got to come in and learn an entire playbook. In this case, you're already six weeks, seven weeks through your damn season. If you're in the case of the Jets, you're one in six. You know, what type of impact is this guy going to have when you bring him into the fold? Now, in terms of the Seattle Seahawks, you know, you, I guess you could say the move to get Percy Harvin in a way didn't work out. Here's a guy that they gave up multiple picks to get, including a first rounder in 2013, who really didn't play for him at all in the regular season last season and barely gave him anything at all, period, until you got to Super Bowl 48. Now, of course, once you got to Super Bowl 48, Percy Harvin was a difference. He was an X factor. He was a key reason for the Seattle Seahawks being able to win that game. There, there's no doubt about that. The Percy Harvin acquisition only paid off once for the 2013 Seattle Seahawks. Fortunately for them, it paid off at the time they would need it the most, and that was the Super Bowl. You know, they, they gambled on Percy Harvin with his history of injuries, his history of kind of being a head case, and, you know, not all there, having anger management issues, what have you. They took the gamble, they rolled the dice, because they were a team on the cusp, they were a team that was close, and sometimes you have to gamble and roll the dice to get that guy that could come in and shake things up for you and help you get over the hump. But the funny thing is, they made the trade and they really didn't need him all year until they got to the Super Bowl. And even then, you could argue whether or not they really needed him. It almost ended up being the move that was completely and totally unnecessary. And now we're six weeks through, in the case of the Seahawks, the 2014 season, and Percy Harvin, you know, really a struggle to get a